Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome again to this channel. Today, we're going to talk about occupant warning system or building occupant warning system or emergency warning system. Let's start. This is the F220 electronics. It has a microphone and you can make an announcement. Let's try. Testing, one, two, three, testing. So it's working. This is the uh, a year old, I think it's a year old version of a, an occupant warning system. But once you disable this, you cannot choose the microphone. They told me that they have corrected it already. So once I isolate the warning system, testing one, two, three. So there's no output at all, okay? Now let's see what type of occupant warning system or amplifier they have. Let's zoom in. This is a new Petronix Occupant Warning System Amplifier EA60. This is really helpful to all testers. You don't need a microphone actually if you have this one, but there will be an improvement that they are about to release soon. That everything that we're going to do here today will be, has a push button externally somewhere here or somewhere here. Okay, let's begin. What do we have here? Okay, so let's select audio test menu. Okay, I want to see that well, audio test menu, and then we select test alarm message, we select. Select to play. May I have your attention, please? We will be testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all visual and audible alarms and do not evacuate the building. Is that cool? Okay. Now, when your testing is done, you can test done message, select. May I have your attention, please? The fire alarm test is now complete. Please respond to future fire alarms. Cool. But speaker walk test. This is very important if you have a fault on a speaker line and you want to know which speaker is working, which speakers are working, and which is not. Then you can identify if there is a uh, cut in any speaker line. So let's select that one. And you hear that? So instead of using a microphone and wrapping your wrapping the microphone with a uh, electrical tape and put a radio or your iPhone and then you walk around, you don't need it anymore. This one is very helpful. Select to stop and then let's go back. False alarm message, down. May I have your attention please? There has been a false alarm. Please disregard all visual and audible alarms and do not evacuate the building. That was nice. Okay, this thing, then there are lots of things to check. You can also check amplifier load test. And then you have play library if you want to upload something. Actually, there's a USB here that you can upload on the MP4, I reckon. Okay, so this is really nice amplifier. So let's go back. There's also active false fault history, disablement. So once you have this, you can play around with it. You will be, uh, shall I say, you will like this amplifier. Now another occupant warning from Petronix. This is the old amplifier, a 50 watt amplifier from Petronix. It has a microphone. Microphone is depends if you want to have a microphone or not. It all depends on the purchaser. Okay, so this time we start using the microphone. Your attention please, the fire alarm system on test, the fire alarm system on test. Okay, so instead of having a uh, pre-recorded message, you have to use the microphone for testing. Okay, and also warning the resident around here. Let's start the noise. <laughs>
Next is the occupant warning system of an Ampak file finder. That one's the old one, it's not being used anymore and it was replaced by this occupant warning system. So if you want to talk, you just press this button and press the talk. Normally, this is what you're going to use the system test the lockdown, the alert and the e -back. you normally don't use it anymore. System test. Let's press this button. This is a fire alarm test. This is a fire alarm test. Okay, and then you initiated the alarm. That's how does it look like at the back. That's the control. And that is the amplifier. 25 watts amplifier. Okay, let's start the testing. So menu, I want to test and then I want an alarm. This is a conventional panel, so I just pick up every, any number that I pick, then let's activate. So we already made the announcement and then we're just waiting for activation. There you go. You can initiate this as well if you want manual alert tone. Manual evacuation tone. The lockdown. And then the false alarm. Then you go back to the system test. This is a fire alarm test. This is a fire alarm test. All good. So we just reset the fire alarm panel. All done. Next is the occupant warning system of a notifier. This one is very common in most of the fire panel. And this is how it looks like. There's an amplifier there. And there are some push button here that you can use as testing. So this one. Right? Let's try it. So that's the false alarm. And this one is the test. Those are the only two buttons that you can use. But of course it has a microphone that you can make the announcement. It's already on auto mode and just make the announcement. Your, your attention please, this is only a test. Please disregard all emergency warning. This is only a test. And then that's it. And then let's activate the alarm. Alarm test, three, enter. And then the alarm Right? It's automatically go to evacuation tone. You can also switch testing alert tone by manual mode and the evacuation mode tone by manual mode. Right? And then we reset the alarm. Reset alarm. So all oh, oh, sorry, alarm. Uh, what, I, what am I doing? Reset. Reset all enter. That clears all the alarm, the isolation of warning system. There's a fault there because we really switch that off to normal and the fault is gone, all right? And then you make the announcement. All test things are now complete. All test things are now complete, thank you. So that's how it is. Your attention please, the fire alarm system on test. Please disregard all emergency warning, the fire alarm system on test.
All testings are now complete. All testings are now complete. Thank you. So, file panel with a standalone occupant warning system. And then we try to open this up. And that's the amplifier. Okay. Same as the other notifier occupant warning system. This is a notifier as well. And all you have to do is just. Uh, Click this button, uh, the switch, and you'll be you'll be fine. Another uh, occupant warning system is this one with a bigger amplifier, and you have an evacuation tone generator or a generator module. This is used for electronics. Next is the G3 Occupant Warning System. That's how it looks like. And the amplifier is that. Okay, now we're going to test the Occupant Warning System. If you want to make announcement, you press Manual, PA, and then press this to talk. I'm away from it around a meter and then I can speak to this microphone. Your attention please the fire alarm system on test. Please disregard all emergency warning the fire alarm system on test. I can do an alert tone manually and then the evac tone manually. When you're doing the testing, you put that to automatic and activate the alarm. Another occupant warning system, put it to manual mode and then PA. Your attention please, this is a test. Please disregard all emergency warning. This is a test. Then initiate an alert cancel. Alert tone. Then be back. So go to automatic. Initiate an alarm menu. F1. F1 alarm. And then check if the ASE is isolated and then enter. There you go. Isolate the bell. Isolate that. Isolate. Cancel. Reset. Acknowledge. Reset. Reset. Acknowledge. All right. All good. Switch to automatic. Cancel automatic. All good. PSP 200 Occupant Warning System by Flamestar. That is the evacuation control. That is the occupant warning module. We're going to make the announcement. This is a test. This is a test. Please disregard all emergency warning. This is a test. As you have not seen, I already have an active alarm. So what I'm going to do, put this to automatic. And the alarm. Oh, I forgot. I already silenced that. There's the alarm. Okay. Then if I silence that, that's quiet the evacuation system. All right, I will reset. Silence reset. Okay, all clear. 
this is an EWS, emergency warning system. You might get uh, confused between an EWS and an EWIS. This one has no whip phone, no red phone. So this you going to call this as an emergency warning system. So this area here where the whip phones are supposedly indicated, they are all disabled. So we only concentrate on this one. I'm going to make a test. You see the microphone? Your attention please, this is a test. Please disregard all emergency warning. This is a test only. And then I activate all alert. Then evacuation. Emergency. Okay. So when you're doing a test, make sure that you're going to initiate this on a and then activate an alarm from the pilot panel and make sure the alarm goes here through the FIP signal. Okay, in this case, all of the blocks, but there are three blocks here. All of them go off at the same time because if this is an EWS. If this is an EWIS, it will cascade from one level to another level and plus or minus two levels starting from the origin of the activated alarm and this is the EWIS panel the emergency warning intercommunication system it has a whip phone so that's the only difference between the previous EWS and the EWIS. So those are the most common occupant warning system available in Australia. I think we have covered around 70 to 85% of most occupant warning system. The others are basically easy. We have microphone, they have PA system, we have the name alert and evacuation tone. Also, alarm bells and sounder are still allowed here in Australia based on the old code so if the building is using the old standard they are allowed to use those kind of occupant warning system this is elmer again your fire protection guy see you next time and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe